So, hello friends, I'm Dr. Abhinaya and in today's video, we'll be looking at the virology career path after completing your bachelor's or BSc or MSc. So, who exactly is a virologist? Virology is, virologist is a scientist and he specializes in the study of viruses as well as the research of the viruses and the viral diseases. He also studies the growth and development of various viruses. And he also studies how these viruses, they affect the human beings, the environment, various animals and plants. So when it comes to the responsibilities of a virologist, he has a lot of responsibilities. The first one is he prepares, conducts and oversees the studies of different microorganisms or in the case of virologist, viruses are the main. The second one is he supervises a team of scientists as well as researchers in the laboratory settings. The third one is he trains the research team for proper equipment as well as various safety procedures when it comes to handling of the equipment in the laboratory condition. He also writes technical papers and reports and present these findings to a lot of uh, colleagues, administrators and also healthcare professionals and healthcare agencies. The major responsibility of a virologist is to diagnose the various uh, viral diseases that is prevalent and he also recommends their medical opinion to a team so that they can form uh, what, what is the strategy to combat those viruses. Few skills we need to become a proficient virologist. The first one is communication skill. When it comes to the communication skills, the virologist he should have a really good communication skill so that he can communicate his findings properly to the officials who are above him or to the administrators or to the healthcare agencies or the people who are representing those healthcare agencies or even to his colleagues. The second one is mind. He should have a investigative mind. So when it comes to the virologist, after he will uh, diagnose that this is the virus that is affecting and this is the impact of that virus, then he has to come to a conclusion based on whatever skills he has, whatever uh, knowledge he has gained uh, through teaching or through uh, research he has done and through the practical skills that he has gained, he has to come to the proper and precise conclusion. For that, his mind should be very investigative. The third one is immunity. Virologist, he always deals with viruses and lot of these viruses, they affect the human beings also. So his immunity should be in such a way that he doesn't become prone to lot of diseases and he doesn't fall sick very often. The next one is composed mindset. When you're dealing with viruses, not necessarily that it will be in a calm place or you'll have a lot of time to combat those viruses. Sometimes when a pandemic breaks out, like how we face the COVID, uh, if some pandemic like that breaks out, then the duty or the responsibility of a virologist, it quickens. He has to quicken the pace with which he is working. And for that, he needs to have a very composed and calm mind. The next one is he has to master a lot of molecular biology skills like polymerase chain reaction or PCR, cell culture, assay development and HPLC. The next one is analysis of the data. After doing all the research or uh, after doing the analysis, he has to come to a conclusion that what this data represents or he has to intercept those data. The next one is sterilization of equipment. As a virologist, you will be dealing in the lab for a longer time and you should also know how to sterilize those equipments and keep those equipments very clean. The next one is the companies that um, uh, employ the majority of the virologist. So as, as industries we consider, the first option is the R&D sector in physical sciences or in the engineering or in the life sciences. The next one is the pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical companies and medicine manufacturing companies. The last sector is you can apply or employ yourself in the government sector or you can even go for the private healthcare sector. So the qualification that you need to become a biologist.
So the basic qualification that you should have is you should have completed your bachelor's or bachelor of science degree either with microbiology as a specialization, virology as a specialization or in any other life science also as a specialization. You can even have the specialization in biochemistry, biotechnology and zoology. If you have not done your BSc, you, can, you could have also done MBBS or medical lab technology degree. So after doing your bachelor's, if you have done BSc, then you can go for MSc. And whenever you aim to be a virologist, it's always better to go for your master's and then employ yourself in whichever field you uh, feel it's suitable for you. So to sit for the master's degree, you should have minimum 55% in your bachelor's. So when it comes to the degree, be it bachelor's or master's, there are a lot of institutes which offer virology as the course. I have listed few uh, best virology colleges and institutes in India. The first one is All India Institute of Medical Sciences in Rishikesh. The second one is All India Institute of Medical Sciences in New Delhi. The third one is Amity University of Virology and Immunology that is located in Noida. Anamali University is located at Anamali Nagar or Chidambaram in Tamil Nadu. The, th uh, the next one is Bandalkand University in Jhansi. We also have a university in Bangalore that is Dayanand Sagar University. There is Geetam University in Vishakapatnam, Indira Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences in Patna, Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research in Pondicherry or Puducherry, Kerala University of Health Sciences in Trishur, King George's Medical University in Lucknow, Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences in Karad, and the last one is Manipal Academy of Higher Education in Manipal or Karnataka. So these are the list of the best virology colleges and institutes in India. So when, it, when you go for master's or MSc after doing your bachelor's or BSc, these are the major courses that you will study in MSc. Through these courses, you will learn a lot of technical skills that will be helpful to you when you employ yourself in any of the sectors. The first course is you will learn a lot of tissue culture techniques, virology cell uh, replication, viral cell interaction and its replication, oncogenic viruses and the latency of those viruses, virus antigen detection, viral pathogenesis, gene regulation and recombinant DNA technology, viral encephalitis, and you also learn about veterinary viruses and various agricultural viruses. So when it comes to the job opportunity and, and the employment, you can employ yourself after becoming a virologist either in the commercial or the private sector or you can even go for the public sector. So uh, when it comes to the job, you can either work as a virologist itself or you can work as an assistant for, the, um, for a scientist in a laboratory that is a laboratory assistant. You can even work as a research associate or you can go for the assistant professor. So these are the industries that you can apply for. The first one is the pharmaceutical industry. The second one is the private clinic. If you're aiming to be in the teaching side along with the research, you can go for an assistant professor either in university level and colleges level. And this is applicable for both the private sector as well as the public sector. You can even go for a lot of research centers as the research associate. You can even work in government hospitals as a lab technician also or a lab assistant. You can work for the human immunology laboratories. So when it comes to the placement, like I said, the first one is teaching. That is in the academic institutes. You can even go for the CSIR based laboratories. You can work for health organization in public as well as the private sector. Or if you don't want any of these things, after becoming a virologist, you can even take up a job as a scientific writer. So when it comes to the contribution of a virologist towards the medicine, the major work is to diagnose various viral infections, the mode of those viral infections and the severity of the virus. The second one is to gather information about viral genetics, the replication cycle of those various viruses and also the host tissue interaction. The third one is to discover various antiviral drugs. The last one 
or the major contribution of a virologist towards medicine is to offer expert assistance to medical professionals. So after uh, all these things and deciding which sector you want to work as, the major part is salary. After becoming a virologist as a fresher, you will get the salary range of 2 lakhs to 6 lakh per annum. But once you gain experience, you can learn up to 21 lakhs per annum with experience. So if you are a virologist and if you have done courses in bioinformatics, so if you are a virologist with information and strong knowledge of bioinformatics, then you can see a growth of 27% in your career. So friends, these are the things that I wanted to share with you when it comes to the virology career path after doing your master's and bachelor's. Thank you.